Durban is one of the oldest ports we have in the country. As a hub, I, I think it was uh, activated back in 1824. So it has uh, grown over a number of years to where it is today, where it is the biggest in the country, the biggest in sub-Saharan Africa, the third busiest in Africa. So this is very important to South Africa because the port of Durban alone is the most connected port in the country and in the region. We also are having a big chunk of our port handling brake valve cargo where we've got up to 12 beds, meaning about 12 vessels can be working simultaneously. Bring a range of uh, commodities starting from grain to minerals to scrap metal to edible oils, fertilizers, the whole range from the port of Deben you can actually connect with various destinations in the world. And what the port does therefore, it is the heartbeat of the economy of the country. We assist with trading and linkages between our country, our hinterland, which is most of the Sadek region countries, Lesotho, Swaziland, Botswana, Zimbabwe, Zambia, uh, even some uh, goods come from DRC and Malawi. They, they still depend on this port to trade with the rest of the world. This port accounts for roughly 65% uh, of all container movements in and out of South Africa. And if you know what goes into container, uh, so it's mostly goods that go towards manufacturing and mining, which are the important sectors of our economy. And if we help that sector to move, we really are creating jobs directly and indirectly and enabling the economy of our country to compete better. We've got two terminals, P1 and P2. P1 has got an installed capacity of 700,000 TUs, meaning 700,000 six meter containers can be handled through P1. At P2, we're having 3.1 million TU capacity. So this is the capacity that uh, we, we have in, in the port of Devon. The growth of the container terminal will be a function of how our economy performs. Uh, uh, Typically, we used to say for every percentage GDP growth, that will translate into 2% container growth. But in the last few years, we've seen that change slightly. It's more on a one-to-one -one basis, meaning if the economy grows at 1%, we're expecting the container terminals to be tracking uh, the economy in that fashion. So our growth in the container sector will be in line with how the economy performs. We have at the moment capability to handle two cruise liners bringing tourists to the port of Devon, taking tourists out of the Devon to other destinations. And you know what is important with that business because it does impact on the tourism industry. We have seen the cruise business growing. When it started, we had about 86,000 passengers. Last year, we recorded 191,000 by far were the biggest cruise port in the country. So we hoping that uh, with that, the momentum is gonna just grow where everybody will know about this. And there are opportunities now for young South Africans who get to get jobs to work on the cruise line. So this is the, the positive spin-off that uh, has come as a result of the cruise terminal. And we hope that with us having increased the number of callers from where we had two to where now we've got about six, seven different companies calling uh, the, the, the cruise terminal, that is going to grow because everybody is going to be spreading the word. We also have the biggest chunk of uh, the auto sector using the port of Devon, where plants such as Toyota, BMW, Ford, Renault are dependent on the port of Devon for their import and export products. Devon is attractive because of its close proximity to Johannesburg, uh, Gauteng, which is the economic 
hub of the country. There's high demand of goods that can come through here. Now talking Roro, you've got Roslyn and Pretoria, you've got BMW, you've got uh, Ford, you've got Renault. So you've got quite a number of these OEMs there. Then in our backyard, you've got Toyota. Then that becomes a natural hub for anyone who wants to set up a Roro terminal because of that catchment. That, that makes it special. We can have three uh, Roro vessels coming at the same time into the port of Devon working simultaneously. This then becomes really a big uh, attraction. In conclusion, the port of Devon contributes 22% to the city's GDP. We're contributing 11% to the provincial GDP. We're contributing 2% to the national GDP. That is our impact. We have employed more than 1,200 employees at TNPA. There's about 50,000 other employees that are working in all the other businesses I was mentioning in and around the port. In and around Deben, we have uh, working relations with the various consulates of uh, international countries. In that way, they help spread the word that uh, it's easy to do business with South Africa because you've got a capable port in Deben that can handle your cargo. I'm optimistic about uh, the prospects that the port of Deben uh, is bringing to everyone who is dependent on this board. We do our best to make sure that the city of Deben remains on the map and we'll work with everybody to achieve that.